Hey there guys, Kevin Rick here. In this video, we'll be having central and inscribed angles and their relationship with their intercepted arcs. But what are arcs? Let's see. We know that a circle is a set of points that are equidistant from a point called the center. So in the circle, we have here point A as the center. We know that a chord whose endpoints are on a circle that passes through the center is a diameter. So this is a diameter. Half the diameter is the radius. But what are arcs? Okay, so arcs are actually parts of the circle. So this one here is an arc. This one here is another arc. But there are proper terms to call this arcs. Okay, let's start with a semicircle. So semicircle is half of the circle. And the semicircle shares the same endpoints with the diameter. In this given figure, we do have two semicircles. We have arc BDC. So this is how we name arcs. We follow the direction and we draw a curved line just above these letters. So an arc can use three or two letters. So semicircle, we have BDC and arc BC. And semicircle has a degree measure of 180 degrees. A whole circle measures 360 degrees. So now let's proceed with major arc. Major arcs are arcs greater than the semicircle. So let's try to identify the major arcs in this figure. So this one here is a major arc. It's bigger than the semicircle. We can name this arc. D, B, C. And we do have another one. We have here arc B, C, D. Okay. So there we have two major arcs in this figure. And we do have another, which is the minor arc. And minor arcs are, are smaller than semicircle. So in this figure, I can see two minor arcs, and they are arc BD and arc DC. Okay, so those are semicircle, major arc, and minor arc. Now let's proceed to the angles. Now we have here the central angle, and a central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle and whose sides are radii. Radii is the plural of radius. This one here is the central angle. That is angle A. We also have the so-called inscribed angle. And these are angles whose uh, vertex is located on the circle itself. And the sides of an inscribed angle are chords of the circle. So this one here is the inscribed angle. Sorry for that handwriting. On the next slide, we are going to see the relationship of these angles and their intercepted arcs. But what are intercepted arcs? Well, intercepted arcs, yun yung katapat na arc ng angle. So in this case, angle A, yung kanyang intercepted arc ay DC, arc DC. Okay? This intercepted arc shares the same endpoint with the, the angle. So we have here the central angle intercepted arc postulate. What does it say? It says that the measure of a central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So, so if you have here a central angle, and if the central angle is uh, like 100 degrees, well, its intercepted arc will also measure 100 degrees. So gets Baba? A central angle and its intercepted arc has the same degree measures. So if this is 50 degrees, well, its intercepted arc will also be 50 degrees. Okay, now let's go to the inscribed angle intercepted arc postulate. It says that the measure of an inscribed angle is equal to one half the measure of its intercepted arc. Kung sa central angle parehas, sa inscribed angle, half. Okay, so let's say, for example, the intercepted arc measures 100 degrees. Well, definitely, 
its inscribed angle will measure 50 degrees. Saan na po yung 50 degrees? Of course, that is 100 divided by 2. So, kanina, sabi natin na uh, ito ay 50 degrees. So, of course, this is a central angle. Yung, okay? 50 degrees. Eh, ano naman ang measure ni angle D? If angle D's intercepted arc is 50 degrees, then angle D will definitely measure 25 degrees. So, saan na kuha si 25 degrees? Well, that is 50 degrees divided by 2. So, don't forget, central angle, parehas lang sa kanya intercepted arc. But inscribed angle, well, of course, that is one half its intercepted arc. So, let's have some exercises. So, we have here a figure given angle BAD is 40 degrees. So, this is angle BAD. Okay, this is 40 degrees. Let's try to find the measures of the following. So number one, arc BD. So arc BD is the one right here. So arc BD is the intercepted arc of this angle. And this angle is 40 degrees. So its intercepted arc is also 40 degrees. Angle BED, BED. Okay. So arc BD is 40 degrees. So this arc is 40 degrees. This will measure, yes, 20 degrees. Why 20 degrees? Because this is an inscribed angle, and the measure of an inscribed angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So that is 40 degrees divided by 2. Now we have here arc BDC. BDC. Oh, we all know that this is a semicircle, and semicircle measures 180 degrees. Now we have here arc CD. This one here is arc CD. So the whole semicircle is 180. And we do have here a part of it, which is 40 degrees. To get this one, we, we subtract 40 degrees from the semicircle. So that is 180 minus 40. Arc CD will be 140 degrees. So easy. And last but not least, angle CAD. Angle CAD. So it is a central angle. And we know that its intercepted arc is 140 degrees. So, yeah, we can conclude that this is also 140 degrees. So there you have it, guys. The difficulty level is easy. It's a piece of cake. So, yeah, if you still do have questions, kindly leave them on the comment box below. See you on the next video.